Let's balance the equation for KHCO3 plus H2SO4. Potassium hydrogen carbonate, also called potassium bicarbonate, and sulfuric acid. So I've already counted the atoms up here. Be careful when you count the hydrogens up. You have one here and two here, so we have a total of three hydrogens. And then for the oxygens, we have three plus the four, seven of those. Note that we do have a polyatomic ion. Sometimes it's helpful to count it as just one thing, but here I found it easier if we counted these atoms individually. You get the same answer either way. So we have all of our atoms here counted up. Why don't we balance the potassium first? Put a two in front of the KHCO3. So we have one times two, that gives us two of those. And then for the hydrogens, we need to update that. Two times one, that's two, plus the two here, in the sulfuric acid that gives us four two times one so we have two carbons and then oxygens let's update those two times three is six six plus four that'll give us ten oxygen atoms all right on the product side I guess we could update the hydrogens we could put a two in front of the h2o two times two that would give us four so we have four two times one that's two so four plus two plus two that gives us eight oxygen atoms. Let's update the carbons. We could put a two in front of the CO2, one times two. Those are balanced and we need to update the oxygens, hopefully the last time. Four plus two times one, that's six, plus two times two is four, so six plus four is 10, and we're done. This equation is balanced. In an equation like this, really what causes problems is you have to make sure you count up all the atoms very accurately. We have all of these oxygens here, so each time you change an oxygen, you need to make sure you recount those correctly. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for KHCO3 plus H2SO4, potassium hydrogen carbonate plus sulfuric acid. Thanks for watching.